Hey everybody, it's Ben. Go Ben, etc. Kieran will join us in a minute. Um, yeah, and tomorrow is Karen's birthday. Go Karen. November twenty third. Also, uh, tonight, um, Holden's uh, flight gets in. He's has a Thanksgiving break from, from college, and he's coming to stay here for a few days, have Thanksgiving and stuff. So Karen will be leaving the stream probably around 10, because his flight gets in at 11. And then uh, I'll keep streaming. Etc. And so on. And we should be on Chess TV in a little over 20 minutes. And so forth. Yeah, so today we're going to look at games um, that I played in the French defense with Black when I was a teenager. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so I found three games in the database where I won. And I have a lot of French defenses, but I, I don't literally have them. I yeah, Probably in my score sheet somewhere. But in the database, um, I don't have so many. Um, but probably in my... I have, a, I have my score sheet somewhere. Probably there's like a dozen more games that I could have found. But then I'd have to enter them in PGN. Boo! We had a mishap here today, and um, the monitor on my left is broken. But I can still read the chat. Um, but it looks funny, because <laughs> it's... The top half is all messed up, so we have to get a new monitor, which will fix it right up. This monitor works okay, but basically a table collapsed and everything fell to the ground. And it seems like the only damage was to this one monitor. It's Karen, probably. Yay! Yeah. How's it going? Most likely. It's chilly. Mm-hmm. Vegan chili? Mm -hmm. Man, Joey's upset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he cries like a baby a lot. <laughs> All these poker people... He, he, he's a good baby. Are, um, ...need to toughen up just a little bit. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Thank you, Wally. Yeah, tomorrow is my birthday. There, there already is a book, Cry Like a Grandmaster. You, you can buy it from our, uh, you know, somewhere. Thank our, you, our Thaddeus. Bookstore. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, there's just a small little drama in the poker world. The poker people love to call everybody snowflakes, and they're all snowflakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never seen such a bunch of wimps. I'll explain the poker drama because, you know, I, I saw the chat first. Um, what happened was uh, Norman Chad, who's a famous poker personality, he supposedly insulted Joey Ingram <laughs> several times on Twitter. He did. I saw and, him. And, then, uh, and I complained to you about it. You jo don't remember. Joey uh, <laughs> responded... Um, saying if he saw him, he's going to hit him in the ribs. Oh, he was kidding. Then, um, according to Norman Chad, several people who are fans of Joey DM'd him on Twitter saying they were going to hurt him and hit him and threaten him and so forth. I don't know if it was as, several. As, as a consequence, Some. Norman Chad left Twitter. And there was an article written by someone, and basically all the Robbies are now against Joey. Doesn't matter if you're a male <laughs> Robbie or a female Robbie. The author's it, name was Robbie. Was Robbie. And said, you know, basically took um, Norman Chad's side and said, you know, Joey's threatened to hit him in the ribs and 
you know, dangerous and so forth. And he didn't include in, any of Norman's tweets. And Joey was never going to hit anybody in the ribs. It was funny. It was, he's just trying to be funny. It was overstatement. Yeah. So, so now Joey's upset that this article was written, you know, basically dissing him and taking Norman Chad's side. I mean, I would so be he's streaming now, like crying. And stuff. I would be upset about the article, but. I don't understand why people can't see that he was kidding about hitting him in the ribs. Thanks, tinfoil hat 666 for the sub. Also, somebody else subbed uh, before when I was doing this, you know, earlier. Um, I hate cars, too. Okay, what are you, Jay Leno? Oh, snap. Anybody? No. You know what Jay Leno's favorite song is from the 70s? Burn, baby, baby burn. burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. You got it pretty quick. Sick burn. Good one, Thaddeus. Thaddeus funny without even knowing it. Oh, snap. Anyway, I do feel bad for Joey. Joey is a nice guy. He's not going to be punching a 64-year-old man in the ribs. Where's he going to punch him? Huh? <laughs> when are you leaving? About 10? Um, Actually, I don't even know when the... I think his flight gets lands. in at 11. So my son Holden comes in tonight, and I have to go to the airport and pick him up. <laughs> Today, I moved stuff around so that we could open the ping pong table because Archer had friends over. And the table, this was not this table, but the table that used to be here. Uh, has uh, two monitors and a laptop and stuff on it. It collapsed and landed on my shin. I have a bruise there now. And one of the monitors is broken. And actually, look, you can see the cracks now. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that before. I got to replace it. Yeah, say no to crack. The chat monitor. Everything just hit the floor. I'm just grateful the laptop didn't break. Oh, here's his plane. Oh. It says he gets in 1047. And he didn't check a bag. Right. So I wonder what time I should... What's your opinion? Let's see if it matches my opinion. 10. Yeah, I was going to say quarter till 10. Yeah. Either way is good. <laughs> Let the monitors hit the floor. Like I can sing that at karaoke. My dad puts mayo phone. on Jello. That is weird. Hopefully, it's vegan mayo and vegan Jello. Not easy to get vegan Jello. Yeah, who sings that song? Which song? Let the bodies let the bodies hit the floor. I never heard such a song. <laughs> I'm too old. Uh, you know, I hear it at a karaoke. Mm-hmm. It's a crowd. I like the way we look with the cracked monitor. That's cool. <laughs> it's a crowd favorite. Drowning Pool. Never heard of them. Never heard of the song or the group. It's real popular at karaoke, and the crowd mm -hmm. loves to sing along. <laughs> well, Jello it has the word gelatin. I mean, gelatin's not vegan. Jello's almost never vegan. I've never even heard of vegan Jello. I guess you could make your own Jello vegan. But you can't buy it unless you buy vegan Jello. You think the lead singer passed away, Wally? I agree, it's popular because it doesn't have a tune to keep. You can just kind of yell, "Let the bodies hit the floor!" And everybody yells out, and you know, chanting, you know, about killing people. I guess technically, <laughs> Joe Bava is vegan because he only drinks alcohol. He doesn't eat food. Joey approved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Let the bodies hit the floor. Mm-hmm. I prefer punch him in the dick, juicy carcass. Today, well, I don't know if I can talk about Archer. Maybe not. I was going to mm. talk about what they were talking about. Mm. <laughs> middle, middle schooler conversations. I guess I won't. There's vegan everything, but probably can't get vegan jello at your local grocery store. Probably have to go to a specialty place. 
<clears throat> Again, you can make it yourself. So I mean, Jello is not very tasty. So no, Jello is terrible. That's not something I'd be going out of my way to try to make. Yeah. So I do need tw a twelve thousand. Thank you, King Pam. I do need a people can't see it. it has to be allowed. <laughs> I do okay. I do need a twelve thousand dollar. Let me allow it. Uh, mm -hmm. Gift, so I can play in the main event at the. World Remember, Cup it's Club. Karen's birthday, so everybody <laughs> who's watching has to give ten subs, unless you give twenty. Tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> That's true, Wally. Brian Broccoli. It, if you're watching from Europe, then it's Karen's birthday right now. How about an air fryer? Jello shots are good. Okay, I'm going to agree with that. I've decided to play a match with Magnus Carlsen after watching Saudi Arabia beat Argentina. I figure it's our time. The other day I was playing in a tournament on America's Card Room, a poker tournament, and... One of the guys at my table was named Cagnus Marlson. Just like here. <laughs> I couldn't, you know, give him a little wave. Hey, chess guy. I'm sure he noticed my name because on, on ACR it's Karen Chess. Your, your mortal enemy, Magnus Withdrawson. <laughs> the only way to know Vault is to type exclamation mark vegan. It's the only way to know. 1123 was your late mom's birthday, Blind Broccoli. Well, that's a coincidence. Thanks, Slow3635, for the sub, or gifting a sub. RIP. My mom died three years ago. Thanks, Thaddeus, for gifting a sub to Johnny Mac. A hype train is close. Rick and Morty was complicated. Rip back. What is that <clears> name? You said R.I.P. to his mom. Oh, he said R.I.P. to your oh, mom. Oh, thank you. You just thought it was Rip because of poker. I did. I thought he was talking about well, How does he know about Rip? <laughs> Thanks, Squirrel Brain. There's a guy in poker named Rip, so I got confused for a second. Thank Thanks, you, Squirrel Brain and JM263 for starting the train. Yay. Don't forget it's Sub Tuesday. Yeah, all these entities. I wish I'd brought my book down and I could get you to enter one of my games in. R.I.P. Takeoff. I've never heard of Takeoff, so him dying was the best thing for his career. Even though I live in Atlanta. I don't really know who famous people are now. I know people who were famous 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago. People who are famous in the last 10 years and not famous before that, I'd, I'd never heard of them. JM True 63. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought trying to learn would like that episode because of the story circle and the same guy. Because you like that other episode. Shameless ripoff of Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell. <clears throat> Once again. I forgot about him. What did he write? Something about the hero archetypes or something? I read some book by him in the 80s. I forgot what it was. Though. How could you have missed the lecture? <laughs> Luckily, there's another Isolated Queen Pawn lecture next Monday. Thank you, Lawful Waffle. <laughs> 30 Karen, Karen was 30 before you were born. The hero's journey. That's right, Magnus. I, that's, I read that. Would you say you were 30 before most of the chat was born? Maybe it was the hero. With I think the, so. The hero's Chat's pretty journey. young. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, you're only 15? Well, then she was 30 before you were born, and then some. Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't think she's 71. That's correct. She's not. <laughs> I'm going to be 50 in a couple of weeks. Yay. You're catching up to us slow, but you're slowly doing it. <laughs> Welcome to the 50s club. I was born and raised in Georgia. Exactly. You can tell by my accent. <clears throat> Wait, who said they're from Georgia? You were 20 before Karen was born? I don't believe you. 
Doric the cat. Do you believe him? No. Because he can't be on Twitch if he's that old. <laughs> Nobody that old's on Twitch. <laughs> Oh, Hero with a Thousand Faces. Okay, now that sounds... Karen was born in Alabama and I was born in Michigan. Faces. Yeah, Mubot's deleting all your happy birthdays. You yeah. live in... Um... You were born in August 49? Then you were, you were 20 and then I was born the next month. But you weren't 20 when Karen was born. Nice try. Why is Mubot so... Uh, picky. Dork the cat's claiming he's seventy three years old. Oh, it didn't like the i the mm. icon. Somebody can be chat chatting on on Twitch and they're seventy three. I didn't know that you were that old, Doric. We thought we were the oldest streamers on Twitch. You might be the oldest viewer. <laughs> Go hype train. Yeah, we won't be streaming the rest of the week because um, we're going to, you know, the holiday. Then we're going to the casino this weekend so I can get some practice. I, I will book. sing the Marilyn Monroe version to Karen when she becomes the president. Then I'll mm -hmm. say happy birthday, Mrs. President. Mm -hmm. Will you wear that dress that she wore? I don't remember what she was wearing, but I'll find it. It was mm -hmm. um, glitter, kind of a gold, mm. skin tight. You'll have to help me find it. Actually, recently, um, Kim Kardashian mm -hmm. rented the real dress from whoever has it in some museum and wore it to an awards show. Mm. And she had to lose weight to get into it, mm -hmm. and which I was surprised by because she's not overweight or anything. And then um, some people were mad about it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was the same dress. It was the same dress. I was the first private internet user in the Netherlands in 85. People felt like she shouldn't be wearing it. I remember I had my Commodore 64 in 1988 in Belgium, and I would print out my tournament games after typing them in a text file that I would mail them to my parents. Mm -hmm. So that, well, not my mom, really, my brother and my dad. You know, the dress viewership would plummet if you wore that, or it might go up. <laughs> Commodore 128. I could only dream of such a computer. Oh, Kim had to keep the back unzipped? I didn't know that. Are you sure? Because I read that, like, she went to get the dress and they wouldn't let her take it because it didn't fit right, so then she lost some weight and came back. But I may have some of those details wrong. Yay, hype train success. Not too successful. Okay, let's look at some games. Or we should Actually, maybe we should wait till on Chess TV. <laughs> Five more minutes because we have 154 viewers and we'll have 1,200 viewers in five minutes. Mm -hmm. I grabbed How to Reassess Your Chest by Silman. Did you ever read that? Yeah, we did it on stream. Spencer and I went through the whole Yeah, but book. I didn't do it. Well, you were aware of it. Any, and, I, and actually, some of them are on your channel now. Uh, uh, she's in the process of moving the rest of them. Mm. Anyway, that's a Karen question. Well, well, I didn't even hear what He wants question. to know if they're familiar with the book and any ideas on pushing beyond 1600. Well, how would I be able to advise that? Because you mean, did the book. I'm no good. He doesn't advise. Well, I didn't read that one by Silman. I, I thought you were just, I, I misunderstood which Silman it was now that I'm reading mm -hmm. it. I did not read that Silman. I take it back. I, we did the in game course. That's what that guy said, Sadaqua. Yeah, that's the one. Or Sadaqua. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Sadaqua. Yeah, you're right. I didn't read the comment. I only heard Ben reading it. He was a part time hippie before, now he's full time. <clears throat> but those are going to get moved over to your channel. Yay. Yeah, the Chess Club channel eventually will go away. So I have to move this stuff over. Move it on over. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys can do stuff on YouTube now where you, you pay me for no reason. So do that. What's that called? Uh, become a member. You could become a YouTube member on my YouTube channel. 
it's sort of like when you become a sub here. You, s- you support the YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you, Chess Lad. Have you heard of the GM Rasman who just died? His last name is Rasman? No, I haven't. You do get stupid YouTube emotes, I think. You do. I haven't even seen them yet. She made two or three to start out with and some badges. Speaking of birthday, is it weird for a girl to go out with you on a first date on her birthday? What television show did that happen on? Oh, I was going to answer. He it. might he might not be referring to the television show, but he I might think he, but he might be. I don't know. Seinfeld. Like Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah, Seinfeld. I don't think it's weird. And he's my birthday. Is it weird? Um, I guess a girl going out with you is weird. I mean, you, you're some guy watching on YouTube. Not everybody's. Terrible. It's funny because some people really feel strongly about their birthday. It's got to be celebrated and, you know, special every year. And other people don't really care that much about them. Wes hates his birthday. I said it's better to have birthdays than not have them. She's got a closet full of them. That's right. That's yeah. a different woman, but. Let me see what, um, make sure Holden hadn't texted Oh, you mean Basman. Okay, he wasn't a GM, and his name is Basman. What did you say? What did you call him, Rasman? <laughs> You're doing a lecture on Basman. <laughs> right. That's funny. You had the wrong name and the wrong title. That's why I didn't know what you were talking about. Coming up. If you had the wrong name or the wrong title, I would have got it. But you had both. So I was like, GM Rasmin. If you had said, I am Rasmin, I probably would have got Basman. I probably. Yeah. If only you knew his name or his title, I would have got it. Yeah. I thought it's the same Ben Stiller's wife in real life. Um, right. Ben Stiller's wife was actually in the Curb episode playing Ben Stiller's wife. You're saying that's the same actress, the one, the the one who uh, was going on on her birthday, and the one who had all the all the um, uh, birth control in her in her closet. That's the same woman. It could be the same woman. I just never thought of it like that. Hmm. I forgot who his wife is. Christine, something. What's that? He's ben claiming Stiller's that it's wife. that it's Ben uh, Stiller's wife. Mm-hmm. Now, what's funny about Ben Stiller is his dad is in Seinfeld, Jerry Stiller. The act- actually funny. There's two of them, and one's funny. Ben Stiller was good in Curb playing himself. He was good at being himself. That was pretty impressive. Thank you, Hegelian Contradiction. How's it going? Oh, she had a closet full of the same dress. Right, but no, no, that's right. That's another episode. But that's not that's not the woman that went out with him on his birthday. That's a different woman. Now, I'm not saying it's not the same actress. I'm just saying that's a different episode. The the woman that he went out with on the birthday, that's the woman who had the closet with the same dress, which isn't clear by the way. It could be she just wearing the same dress. They they never figured that out. Um that's the one when when Elaine was buying a bike and then Jerry was supposed to help her with it, but Jerry was talking to that woman, so the the bike fell on a lane, and then and then he asked that woman out at this at the store there. Mm-hmm. That's correct, JRJ eight two six eight six. Somebody give him a sub. He's exactly right on the funny skill for his dad, and, and yeah, exactly. Also, many of you don't know. That Seinfeld's dad, the the guy who played Seinfeld's dad, the first season, it was a different dad. There was a different actor. They changed actors after the first couple times he was on. Which also, I think, happened to George's dad. I think George's dad wasn't played by Jerry Stiller at the beginning. Yeah, the weird first dad. Second dad, way funnier. Correct. The second dad... Jerry Seinfeld's dad, in real life, before he was an actor, he was a police officer. And in the movie Arthur, the good one, not the one you know, the first one, the one with Dudley Moore, not the stupid next one. In the Dudley Moore 
uh, Arthur with Liza Minnelli. He plays Liza Minnelli's father, the Seinfeld's dad. And also, <clears throat> he, he was also in an Odd Couple episode, but that's a different story. And then there, there's a scene in Arthur, which is quite funny. Uh, he asks Liza Minnelli, what does he do for a living? And she says, he doesn't do nothing because he is a millionaire, Arthur. He's from a rich family. And he says, great, another bum. And then she says, dad, he's a millionaire. And he says, you have my permission to marry him. Mm-hmm. Arthur was good, the first Arthur. The second Arthur, you know, you kidding? Drawing everybody. Okay, we're, we should be on Chess TV Although it only says we have 150 viewers. I didn't know there was a second Arthur. Yeah, there's one with Russell Brand. Oh. You, you don't know about that one? Good. Mm-mm. Good. Yeah, don't, don't, don't think you know. Yeah. <laughs> the people in the chat only know the Russell Brand one. They don't know the Dudley Moore one. Dudley Moore is, is in a, a florist to buy Liza Minnelli flowers. Or maybe it was for his party. But anyway, the guy says, the florist says, how does it feel to have all that money? And and Dudley Moore says, it's it's just great. It feels great. And he says, ask a dumb question. <laughs> it feels great. <laughs> Having all the millions of dollars. Thank you, Ollie. Yay, we're on. You know, I don't know if the numbers are down, I guess, because of the holidays. Because if you look, Chess Brown only has 482. But now we have 1,000. Yeah, Chess TV. We have more than Gotham Chess. Pump it up. And are you ready? Gotham Chess Poker. Oh, he's doing poker again. Mm-hmm. Is he any good? According to uh, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy who said? By the way, I looked and he's following you. Dominic? I looked like two days ago. Yeah, it said he. It said he was on a list of followers. Yeah. Well, he must have refollowed me. I don't know. Like the first time I checked, he was following me. It was like two or three days ago. Now that's cashed. I think it's cashed. cashed. Where is he? To All I know is he said he, he, he watched Gotham Chess. He said he couldn't watch. Oh, he couldn't? But okay, here's the thing. Okay, let me explain Dominic to you. Okay. Hopefully Dominic's here because if he is, he'll agree. I'm going to diss Dominic, but he's going to think it's a compliment. Okay. okay, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> okay, Dominic thinks everybody's terrible at poker. Especially, well, compared to him. especially, no, no, especially if they're not German, especially, right? If they're American, they're bad at poker. If they're European, but not German, maybe, maybe. But yeah, he thinks everybody's bad at poker. So if he, if he's watching a chess player play poker, how he can't really be impressed. The guy's a chess player you know? and he's barely a chess player. He is following me again. Okay. I'm going to follow him again. Yeah, come on. See, it's tip for tap, people. That's how the world works. <laughs> That's why we got married. I was like, tit for tat, perfect. Yeah. <sighs> I still haven't gotten a tattoo, but I'm considering it. Karen with the spite unfollow. Nice. <laughs> I did. And I even told him I spied unfollowed him. So then he, he pretended he didn't know he unfollowed me, but... To his credit, he did follow me again, so I followed him just now. So Brian Broccoli's claiming he's 76 years old. We have two 70-year-olds really? watching the stream? I didn't know so many uh, people over 50 were uh, on Twitch. I thought That's like, right. John Gilgood said, I'll alert the media. Also, here's another thing that you should often say is, I wouldn't expect to meet someone of your stature unless I was in a bowling alley. That's what he said to Liza Minnelli. Uh, usually, he said, usually to meet a woman of your stature, one has to go to a bowling alley. Yeah, John Gil- And then the, the, the best scenes in Arthur is when John Gilgood is pretending he's dying. He's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's it. Uh, uh, uh. I've seen it, but it's And, and, the, and then Arthur's like, you know, stop that. You're stop 59, pre- J.M. True. Hey, you're, you're older than, than Karen. They're coming out of the closet everywhere. Hey, you know how you know he's 59? I'm 67. Because huh? you were born in 65 and he was born in 63. So his story adds up. Yeah? Yeah, because if, if he's cause two years older than you and he's... Oh, okay. J.M. True, 63. Mike Saylor says, Karen, where else do you old guys like us... Where else do old guys like us go to watch live chess? Well, I have the oldest average age audience. <laughs> what I like is when people get on the stream and they talk about that we're wholesome. What are they doing on the other channels? Yeah, because I'm not wholesome. That's what I'm saying. By I'm the way, wholesome. 
Um, let's tell you some good news. Uh, I got email yesterday from Danny Wrench, and we're going to have a meeting with him and some chess, you know, dot com guy who's you don't know. And we're going to set up all kinds of stuff. So I'll be doing commentary. I'll be making videos. I'm still going to diss him nonstop, but, you know, that's, no. I, I can't help it. Hang on. I didn't <laughs> see that chess lad. What What didn't she see? Julia Rios um, ordered us best Oh, yeah, chess I saw double. that. When was that? I saw that. That was yesterday. Oh, I didn't even see she it. She has a lit, well, she has a collage of, like, you know, things that are silly. Yeah. So we're best couple. Hey, I'm take but, it. like, most flirtatious was Anand. <laughs> I mean, and then she's like, yeah, his chest is flirtatious. His chest, like, look at his moves. And I'm like, what? Hey, shoot, they want us to come on the podcast at some point, which I want to do. And then. Right. And also this other guy just, uh, Lola. he messaged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a should, different podcast, right? Yeah, you should, that's for just you, though. Okay. Yeah, you should do that one. Yeah. Remember we met him in Chicago. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just for you, but Rios wants both of us on. Yep. But. Both those will happen. Is Rios married to JJ? Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe they're, they're a couple. Yeah. Does he live in Ann Arbor? I don't know if they're married. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're a couple. Yeah, that's she, what I figured. She has. A, they have a kid, I think, and she's in a doctorate program, but I don't know mm -hmm. which. About them. Oh, they are married. Oh, they're married to different people. Oh, I'm starting a rumor here. Then yeah, and if, uh, Darn, this is like sorry. Robbie Jade Lou and <laughs> and and Rip and Karen's like, oh yeah, they're a oh no, they're apologies. Not. Somehow I thought they were a couple. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. They I'm could still be a couple, but she takes it back. Yeah, I'm probably misunderstood. She's funny. Yeah, I need to answer uh, Daniel. So if I do live coverage with Danny Wrench on some big tournament with all these good players, should I say, so Danny, why isn't Hans playing in this tournament? Should no. I say stuff like that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> there are time, there's a time and place for everything. That sounds like the time and the place. No. no. Right. And and just just like uh, Smearin. Yay, thanks, Big Daddy. You know, what a ridiculous place to get into those kind of discussions. I mean, come on, man. You lived in Ann Arbor in the 1970-ish. What are you, uh, what's his name? Bonarici? Enzi and Hero, 200 cent to do's. I watch every second of the World Cup, and I saw the last half hour of the Saudi Arabia win. I have zero interest. Let's ask Karen a question about the World Cup. Yesterday, the U.S. played Wales. What was the final score? I don't know. You can guess. It's soccer, so it's not too much. Uh, Thanks for the five subs, Big Daddy. Well, You're I'm not best. sure who won. Okay. But um, we'll say Wales won, and it was 7-3. Uh, it's soccer. I don't no, know what no, they score. No, usually nobody is. ever scores. In oh, soccer. I didn't know that. No, nobody ever scores. Three one. Even that would be a big score. Oh. Also, I'm not kidding. Three one would be more than usual. All right. No, in fact, the highest scoring game in World Cup history was zero zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the, it was. A, I don't it, was watch a, it was a tie one one. The U.S. scored a goal. Then late in the game, they committed a penalty, and Wales got a penalty kick. So it was one one. Was the oh, final. okay. I like, but you did one thing really good. You predicted Wales won. That was funny. But wait, how is that a win if it's 1-1? One, one? It was. It was a tie. Oh. Well, it says Wales did win. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Wales should have lost, and Wales is the worst team. Both teams played absolutely terrible. Like, it was just, it was, like, me and you would have beaten the U.S. team. They are just terrible. And then Wales was worse. I could tell after three minutes Wales was our worst team. It's football. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's, in the U.S., we, we call it. You know, Wales has a much name. better flag. Wales should one because of their flag. We have something else we call football. That name was taken over here. <laughs> oh, Wales was happier. By the way, if you want to start an argument in the chat, watch this. Yeah. You, watch the chat. Forget about what I say. Just watch the chat. Mm -hmm. Is Wales a country? Is England a country? Is Scotland a country? Is Northern Ireland a country? Is... The UK a country? Is Great Britain a country? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no. No. They are countries. Now I'm just going to check. 
Isn't that the United Kingdom? Yes, no. No, no, yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> maybe. Maybe is the right answer. If you go to the internet and look at hundreds of web pages about the questions I just asked, you won't be any closer to an answer. There's no, no, no answer. <laughs> I'm just seeing what's going on over here. No. I do know the difference between Great Britain and the UK. That is important. Also, how can Australia and Canada still be Commonwealth countries? What, what world is this? What year is this? Man, they're still talking about it. Hmm? Mm. Toughen up, people. Toughen up. <laughs> well, maybe we should do some tests. I can't really be here this long. Um, actually, it's 9.15. I can be here till 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we didn't get a good answer. I zoned out for a minute because I was reading. UK is a country, but it has countries within it. The answer is fries. I'm going to have a good birthday tomorrow. That's correct. Are we talking about Chad? What about Chad Norman? Okay, ready? You talking about Joey and Chad? Yeah, we were talking about it a little bit. Okay, ready? Oh, you're talking about okay, the Okay, first game Chad. was played in 1985 in the Southeast Michigan Open in Westland. My opponent was a 2,000 player, and my rating was 2245. I'm not sure if that was my FIDE rating or my USCF rating, because it could have been either. It's Either one's likely. It's, it's all possible. Yeah. Go, Karen. Thank okay, you. so it's a French defense. Thank you, Because Graham. that's what this lecture is about. Yay. Okay, my opponent played the Tarash. Now, Karen, if you had black here, what would you play? Um, I, I don't know if I play the right move. I play knight f6. Knight f6, good. Yeah. And what else is a common move? I think you can play C5. C5. Yeah, knight f6 and C5 are the two most common yeah. moves. You can also take, mm -hmm. play bishop e7, and h6 and a6. They've all been played. Another move that's been played was named after your favorite grandmaster. He was Argentinian, which is funny because I just lost to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Carlos Guillemard. Mm -hmm. And I used to play the Guillemard variation, which is knight c6, attacking the undefended pawn. You like to you like openings where you move that mm -hmm. knight yeah, in the front pawn. of the mm -hmm. the C pawn. Yeah. Okay, my opponent played knight G F three defending it. Then I attacked his E pawn. Then he attacked my knight, but I saw it. Yeah. So the idea behind this opening is not to play C five, because I can't, mm -hmm. but it's to play F six and attack the center with all of my pieces and pawns. If he takes on F six, then I take with the queen. And I play bishop to d6, and I castle. I saw a game one time that Fabi played where he played similarly. Mm -hmm. Okay, my opponent played knight b3. That's one of the book moves. Gets the bishop out. I played a5 because I want to play a4. He played bishop f4. I did play a4. He played knight c1, and I played bishop b3 check. And you may be asking what I uh, bishop b4 check. If he plays the move c3, which he did not do, okay, and c3 might might even be the best line. I don't know. Uh, lines. Might even be the best move. Then I play a3, confusing the audience. I see they take, and you take. Yeah, he can take if he wants. And this is slightly better for white, it says. Slightly, just slightly. Mm -hmm. But he played bishop d2, which is worse. 
and then I played f6. Always play f6. He played bishop b5, which is a very bad move. Takes. Now, uh, he doesn't have to take my knight because my knights are pinned. So I can't keep taking here because it'll be illegal eventually. Okay, so he didn't. And I castled. Now, the engine says black is close to winning because this knight on c1 is silly. The bishop is silly. I have a big attack on his e-pawn. And I have an open f file for my rook, which is the point of this opening. So it's very difficult to defend this. If you take this, you give up your white square bishops. My bishop will have a6 to go to. And I'll have a big center. All kinds of center pawns. So he defended his pawn, knight to d3. And now the engine says I should always sack the exchange. But again, I was 15 years old. So I want to say... I wasn't as good then as I am now, but not so sure. And the reason I didn't sack the exchange, I'm sure, is because I probably analyzed knight takes e5, which is actually better for black, but I have a much better move because I'm threatening to win his queen and I'm threatening his bishop. So this is just winning. Mm -hmm. So rook takes f3 would have won. Then I have a swishinsuk if he takes this with the idea that I take and then he takes that. I take this first. Desperado. So I would have won the game immediately with rook takes f3. But I didn't see that. So I played knight a7. And the idea is if he takes, I can play b5 and c5. And so he took my knight. I took back. He played knight c5, which is a mistake. Because he needs to get his king safe. He can't just be playing knight d2, knight b3, knight c1, knight d3, knight c5. There's other pieces in chess. Okay, I played b6. He saw it. And now his game is just terrible. I have a big center. I have the open f file. I have a weak, he has a weak pawn I can attack. I have more space in the center and queen side. Already the engine says he's close to losing. c3 is passive. I doubled up on the bubble up. He played rook e4 because he couldn't help himself. Thanks, Vrybot, for the raid. Yay, Go, thank you for the raid. He, he's, a, he's a low rated player, so he has to play rook e4 because it's cool looking. But there's no point to rook e4. Okay, I played queen f7, threatening his rook. So he has to move his rook back. Queen h5. Yeah. And you can see his rooks are behind a pawn, and my rooks are on an open line. I have the advantage on all three sides of the board. The middle side, the right side, and the left side. Also the outside and the inside. So all five sides. Rook f4. The engine still wants me to sack the exchange. Then I finally sack the exchange because he played the terrible move c4. And this is one of the things I teach my students when I used to teach, is when you make a move, any move, you undefend squares that were defended, which may or may not matter. In this case, it incredibly matters. And the point is, one of Black's main ideas is to sack the exchange here. In fact, if it was my move, I probably would play rook f3, gf3, knight takes e5. But c4 makes the exchange sack much better because I have knight d4. So I'm not really sacking the exchange, just crushing. Right, so c4 is a big blunder. Now here he should resign, but it's good that he didn't. Because then we get to see a nice finish. If he takes, which he didn't do, then I play, uh, I'm sorry, then I have Maiton too. And then king h1, I play mate, and king f1, I play mate. I don't even need knight here. Okay, so he played cd. I played knight d4, attacking his queen. Rook f4. And I played knight f3 check. So obviously, I'm just a piece up here. So I could just take that, or I could take that and be a rook up. But this is forced mate, so I did that. That seems better. The best move is queen takes f3, losing his queen. That's the best. He played takes, check. 
And now, if he plays king f1, I play queen h3 mate. Now, in this position, if I was playing in the World Cup currently, which is weird because it's 85, so playing in the 2022 World Cup of soccer, that's unlikely, okay? Then I would have played a different move because if I played a different move, I would be a Qatar hero. Yeah. The World Cup's in Qatar. Okay. Okay, but I played the boring move, Rook H4, with unstoppable Rook H2 mate. So he resigned. But if I was a Qatar hero, what would I play? Queen H2. Yeah, I didn't see Queen H2. Otherwise, I would have played it. I did see Rook H4 followed by mate. So he resigned. Queen H2 mates quicker because he doesn't have Queen H7 check. See, here he can play queen h7 check and stop mating one. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. The threat is stronger than the execution, unless you're in Iran. Oh, snap. Gotcha, Iran. I guess I won't be going to Iran anytime soon. Yeah. Brought to you by Qatar slave labor. That's right. Rook h4, boo, says chess lad. My response is chess lad, boo. <laughs> That's my response. Go chess lad. Okay, so that was what I remember playing that game too. Yay, go Ben. Let's see how I played. I'm guessing badly. Let's see, what do I do? Uh, how do I analyze the game? Analysis. Don't I have a thing where I can analyze? Um. Well, the screens are different now. I know everything's different. Yeah. That's not uh, it. That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Evaluation games. Hmm. I guess I can't analyze the games in the classroom mode unless somebody tells me how. Yeah. Additional visibility toggles. Wow. Complicated. If it's unlimited, how could it always says depth 20? Terrible. Yeah, that was pretty good for a 15-year-old. Game's not analyzable. Okay. Next game. Okay, this game was played in the Midwest Masters, which was in what city every year? Midwest Masters? Uh -huh. I don't know. Columbus? Ooh, that's pretty good. Starts with a C. I don't know. Chicago. Mm. This was in 1987 when I was 17. When I was 17, it says I was 2345, so that must have been fee day. Especially since it ends in a five. I mean, it looks terrible up there. Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm black, so let me flip. Flip, 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 Adelphia. This is against Eric Fishvoit. He's a master from the west side of Michigan. If you can believe that. Possibly Grand Rapids. So it's a French defense. So Karen's paying attention with bated breath. No, I'm going to pay attention. But hang on one second. Mm. There's some kind of guest down there. Yeah. Okay. Then I he like played that. Knight C3, and I played the Winowar. What move is the Winowar variation? Um, let's see. Bishop F4. No, bishop, I'm sorry. Bishop B4. Bishop B4. Oh, Not only were you right, but your move was legal. <laughs> now, E5 is the main move. What move did Fisher play against my dad? Um, darn, I'm not going to remember. It wasn't the main move E5. He played Fisher's variation. I don't know. A3. All right. <clears throat> okay, so he played knight e2. That's an off b kind of move. Okay, now, now one of the main lines is to take, and then after a3, you can either take this or go back to e7. I've actually taken and gone back to e7. But in this game, I played knight e7. Because the knight's, you know, being blocked by the bishop, I'm just going to save my bishop. But I don't want to play knight f6 because he'll play e5 attacking my knight. Mm -hmm. Okay, he played a3, and I saved my bishop. 
That way his knight here looks sort of silly. B4, I played bishop B6. The engine says equal or black is slightly better. He played E5. Engine's not too happy about that. A5, getting some space on the queen's side, threatening to take. Rook B1, doesn't like that. I traded, now I have the A file. Hooray, go Ben. I castled. He played knight to g3, so he could get his bishop out. I played knight c6 again. See, I like that. Knight c6 threatening his d-pawn. I told you you liked that. Man. Yeah, see how I threatened his d-pawn? Yeah. Yeah. He played knight back to e2, confusing the audience. And I played knight g6. The engine wants me to play f6, but never play f6. b5, knight a5, my knight has c4. My knight has f4, h4. And his position doesn't make any sense. Pushing all of his pawns, all his pieces on the back row. Knights are tripping over each other, etc. Knight f4, c5, engine approved. c3, takes, takes. Now this is permanently weak. My knight has the c4 square. And he doesn't have any attack on my king. Knight c4, bishop e2, the engine wants him to take it, but it still says I have a big advantage. Bishop check. Now you see if he plays bishop to d2, then I can take his knight and his bishop's pinned. So he can't play bishop d2. So he has to play king f1. Then I went back to b6. He went back here and we agreed to a draw. No. No. <laughs> he played knight h5. Now, Karen, you've been watching the game. Mm -hmm. Which knight's the king knight? Which is the queen knight? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I this it. knight went here. And okay. this knight went knight c3, knight here, knight here. So they're where they're supposed to be. That's what I thought with the h5. I played bishop d7, g3, rook a5 attacking the pawn. The engine wants me to play rook a2. Thanks, A2, R2, P2, for the sub. Yay. He took my knight, finally. The engine says this is the worst move in chess history. Now, <clears throat> if you remember in the 70s, one of the problems that chess computers had was the horizon effect, as I've discussed on stream many times. Mm -hmm. The computer saw a certain number of ply ahead, which wasn't very much. It was like one or two. Right. And then what it would do is this. And this is what he did. Let's say you're losing a knight by force. The engine would give a pawn up for nothing because it didn't see it was losing the knight after that because it couldn't see that far ahead. Mm. Then after you take the pawn, the engine's like, damn, I'm losing a knight. Then it gives another pawn away. Then when you take the pawn, it says, damn, I'm losing a knight. Now, engines today would be like, that loses a knight and two pawns instead of a knight. So so this is what he did. He said, darn, I'm going to lose my pawn. And the engine says, too bad. King g2, h4, you lose the pawn. He didn't want to lose the pawn right away, so he took this knight. Then I can't take the pawn. Then when I take, he's like, damn, I'm going to lose my pawn. <laughs> okay, but this is much worse. Now, this is how bad strategically this is. The engine says I'm up 1.3 here, and here it says I'm up 4. It's like he lost a whole piece because he gave up his white squared bishop with all of his pawns on dark squares. So he needs that white squared bishop to defend the white squares. Once I eliminate this pawn, then my bishop has c6. So, this, and I have a passed pawn now. This pawn's weaker because I have open line to it. So this is an incredibly bad move strategically. And my opponent's a master. Also, he's watched the stream before. A couple years ago, he said hi. Okay. He played knight takes g7 because instead of losing the pawn, he'll lose a piece and get an attack. Now, what's funny is the engine says I should play bishop takes b5. It doesn't want me to take this because he'll play knight here check and his knight will come in here and his queen will come in here. And I did play bishop takes b5. 
because this knight's not really threatening me. And this pawn's hanging. And I've won the pawn. I have two passed pawns. And his knight's still attacked. He played knight h5. I still don't know which knight is which. Now here I played the most obvious move, which the engine says is correct. Also, knight takes e5 is good. Because he can't take my knight because of the pin. But I just play queen takes d4. Now I'm threatening checkmate. I'm threatening queen takes queen check. This pawn's going to fall. I have two pass pawns on the queen side. And his attack isn't adding up to a hill of beans in this world. Yeah. And you know which chess player first wrote those notes? Uh, his attack doesn't add up to a hill of beans? Mm -mm. Come on, Karen. I don't know. Damn. I mean, it's a joke, but it's a really good joke. Who... Which character says something about a hill of Which beans? Which grandmaster said his attack doesn't add up to a hill of beans these days? Oh, okay. Let me think. Beans. <laughs> grandmaster. A hill of beans. Oh, a hill? It's a movie quote. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, Capablanca. Very good, Bonarici. Yeah. It's from Casablanca. Oh. In the movie Casablanca, he says this doesn't add up to a hill of beans. So, so Capablanca is the answer. I didn't remember that. And, and Bonarici got it. Amazing. Okay. It's Archer. Let's see how smart Archer is. I told him I'd make some hot chocolate. Uh, what opening is this? Just from looking at the pawn structure <clears throat> and stuff. Uh, I don't know. You can guess. I don't know. That's your guess? You don't know? Yeah. French guess. defense. Oh, uh, yeah. That makes sense. By the way, he moved his knights. This knight went here, and then here, and then here, and then seven. here. And this knight went here, and th I mean here, then here, then here, then here, then here. So this is actually his queen knight. And this or this is his, yeah. Actually, I don't know which knight's which. Wow. But I have the two bishops, and I'm threatening mate and one and his queen. Okay. What did you need, hot chocolate? No. Oh, because you can make hot chocolate according to your mom. No, I just came back here to see what you guys were doing. Oh, yeah, and then I have to <clears throat> go pick Holden up soon. Your mom got really mad she couldn't solve a puzzle, so she broke the monitor. Oh, was that from earlier? Yeah, you might not. The, the, well, the table broke. Oh, yeah. That fell on the floor and broke. Yeah. Dang. <clears throat> By the way, Humphrey Bogart was a good chess player, considering that was Humphrey Bogart quote. Mm -hmm. Now, Karen will name three other actors in the movie Casablanca. Humphrey Bogart. We need three more. I can try. Uh, yeah. Just a minute. Uh, let's see. Casablanca. So Ingrid Bergman. Correct. Um, is uh, Sydney Greenstreet in that one? Correct. Do I have to do one more? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> You haven't named the best actor in the movie yet. I know. Who, there's this German guy. That's also correct. German guy that was in a lot of Fr Fritz Long movies. Darn. I don't know. Well, Peter Lorre has won the chat Peter game. Lorre. That's right. A... You could have said Paul Henreid. Peter Lorre. Paul Henreid. Henreid. Yeah. And then you, nobody named the best actor. Let's see if anybody in the chat knows who the best actor in the movie is. Yeah, Peter, Peter Lorre's Anybody? Great. Claude Rains. There you go. Yeah, Conrad Veidt. Well, he spelled Veidt wrong, but yeah. Oh, yeah, Claude Rains. Conrad Veidt's probably the German guy you were thinking of. He's German. No, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, Claude Rains is the... But Conrad Veidt's in it. He's German. Right. He plays the German guy. I was, well, I was thinking of Peter Lorre. Yeah. Peter Lorre has two R's. Yeah. Claude Rains, what was he shocked about? I can't remember. He was shocked there was gambling going on. And then when he said that, the guy said, here's your winnings. And he said, thank you. Gave him a bag of money. That was his winnings. So. Mm. I can't remember. I haven't seen it in a million mm -hmm. years. I'm shocked. Shocked there's gambling. And then they stole that in Futurama. And Fry said he was shocked about something. Yeah, I was <clears throat> I was thinking of him, Wool Mammoth. I only saw Dial M for Murder. With Peter Lorre. Yeah, he's great in that. That's like one of the first uh, 
serial killer type movie. That's a Fritz Long movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. I saw that. Yeah, he's good in that. Mm hmm. See, we're old. We know old movies like Capablanca. All right. So my opponent played Queen Takes Queen. I played Bishop Takes Queen. Now, in this position, it may occur to you that I'm a pawn ahead. Okay, I didn't, but... But I am. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. I'm pawn ahead. All right. And it says I'm up plus seven. Because I have the two bishops, two passed pawns. His knights are tripping over each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, he played bishop f4, defending his e-pawn. This is a type situation where I'd be flipping out about those knights in my face. Oh, no. Okay, and I played c3 check. Well, what if he goes knight? Um... Then I take it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if I didn't take it, I would play here. And then it still has nothing. All right. He never has any. I'm just telling you, that's just. No, if he had a queen in here. I'm not saying here, my thinking's correct. It just would. If, if he, be like if he out had of a queen face. in here, then you'd be right. Yeah. Yeah, without a queen, my king's pretty safe. Okay. Yeah. So he played king g2, bishop c6. I told you I was going to play bishop c6 check. Thanks, Wizza Wooloo. Wizza Lizza Woo. Thank you, Wizza Lizza Wizza Woo. That's right. Happy birthday, Karen. Thank Go you Karen. so much. He played f3, the engine move. Rook a2 check, king h3, bishop takes f3. This is what they mean by two bishops vatals. This mm -hmm. is what they mean. Rook g1, bishop takes e5. It's just a mop up. It says I'm plus 53 now. Yeah, I played the right move. Check and then, and then, oh, I didn't, that's, the, the knight, knight f3 check is better, it says. Rook check. Knight g6 check. Take now this knight's hanging. Man, talk about not resigning. And then he resigned here. Yeah, that was one of my better games. I wish I could do a game analysis because I don't think I did anything wrong in that game. No analysis allowed. Oh, that's panned. I was just trying to understand. Um, thank you, Point Gallus. I think actually I'm going to go ahead and go upstairs because mm -hmm. I can. Yeah, let me see how his flight's doing. Yeah, and then I can go ahead and make him that hot chocolate before I leave. He's John Fontaine said, Danya broke the monitor when he was streaming with you earlier today while I was out. <laughs> I was out too. It's true. I did. I did go to the car wash and shopping. <laughs> Oh, yeah, thank Danya, you, Wizzle. Danya, Danya would break a monitor. Yeah, so today I was down here moving all the streaming equipment so that Archer and his friends could play ping pong, and the table collapsed. Not the ping pong table, the table with the our streaming The streaming table, and one of the monitors is broken, so after, uh, we're using it for the chat, but it's cracked and horrible. But it landed on my shin. One of the brackets broke under the table, and um, everything just went on the floor. I'm lucky I didn't break a bone. Hey, uh, trying to learn, you can wave to Holden. He's he's above he's above you now. <laughs> Are we streaming from the ping pong table? No, we had to a side table, so we commandeered that for the main table. That's what Karen calls Danya, her side table. <laughs> yeah, ten forty seven is when the flight. It's lands. all a code. Mm -hmm. It's all a code. Still ten forty seven. So, okay, well, then I should go upstairs. It's impossible to park at the airport and go get him, so maybe you should just drive around. No, we sort of moved on from Don, the Donya thing. But um, but anyway, I'm leaving now, but, but thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I have to go upstairs, have to make hot chocolate for Archer, I have to get in my car, I have to drive to the airport to pick up Holden. And then we're not streaming again probably until Sunday, right? Probably Sunday. Probably yeah. Sunday. Definitely not Saturday. Definitely not Friday. Tomorrow. Definitely, yeah. Tomorrow's my birthday, you know. and we're busy. And you know, today tomorrow's going to be a day of me doing stuff I want to do. I'm going to play poker. Man, if Archer made you hot chocolate for your birthday, that'd be a terrible gift. <laughs> I'm going to play poker all day, 
And then we're going to dinner at a Greek restaurant with my two brothers and all of our families. Then... Two brothers, what else? Then we're going to karaoke, but nobody wants to go. It's two brothers. But my older brother and Ben. <clears throat> so it's going to be a fun day for me. And I'm going to try to squeeze some chess in, too. But uh, anyway, that's it. Good night, guys. Ben is going to continue. And I'm going to go do mom stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Bye. See Don't later. forget my surprise. <laughs> At the airport? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Move it on over. It's Ben. Mm-hmm. Is the game which ended in a victory of Comsky versus Adela for analysis? Mm-hmm. All right, crazy chat. Okay, next game. This game was played in the U.S. Junior Championship in 1987 against Stuart Rachels. Right? We've played bridge with me together. Okay, and our ratings were about the same fee day in 87. 87 Junior. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where it was. I don't know. I don't know where the 87 Junior was. It was somewhere. Okay, so I'm black and a French, obviously. And I played knight f6 this time instead of knight c6. What's funny is my mainstay when I played the French as a teenager was I played c5. So it's funny that I'm, I showed you a game where I played knight c6, which I also played a lot, and knight f6, which I rarely played. Okay, and we played like one of the main lines. And earlier I had learned this line where you play f6 and g5. That seemed pretty cool to me. So I did that, f6 and g5. This was introduced to me, I think by Danny Edelman, who was another person who played a lot of juniors with me. The engine says it's bad. It says f6, you're terrible. I don't really like bishop b4 check now, but okay, this is an 87. He took on f6, the engine agrees. I played g4, the engine agrees. Knight e5. This is all, these are all the engine moves. I'm not sure if I knew this. It's possible that I did, that I knew like this was theory at the time. The engine plays all of these moves and says they're all the best moves. I guess we were good in 87. Knight takes d g4. B6, the first non-engine move. I want to play bishop B7 and harass him. But the, the engine wants me to castle and take that F pawn back. Okay, knight E5 is the engine move. Bishop B7 is the engine move. Knight, man, he plays all engine moves. No wonder he was tied for the U.S. championship. Damn. Knight takes F3. Every move he played is number one engine move now. Man. Stuart Rachel's was good. Rook C8, the engine does not like. It says he can play bishop d3, bishop b5, or a3. He played bishop d3. I took on f6. It says he's like 0.8 better here. Bishop e3. I castled. Bishop d4. It really likes the way he's playing this game. Knight e4 is the best move. I wonder if I was better in now or in 87. I guess in 87 I was better. So I'm so bad now. Rook ac1. Bishop c5. Yeah, this is a pretty high level game. I'm surprised that I played so well. I'm not surprised Stuart played well. Rook he1. The first engine move again. Rook takes c8. It prefers knight takes d4 right away. It actually wants me to take with the bishop. Oh, which I did do, because my, my e pawn is weak. Yeah, e5 is the engine move. Who would have thunk it? So 
Stuart Rachel is, is notorious for getting into time trouble. So since this is move 26 and the time control was probably like 40 moves in two hours, he was probably in time trouble already. But so far, we're both playing great. It doesn't like his rook takes c8 move very much. It likes my e5. The idea is if he takes this, I play rook, D, rook f2 check, and I have enough counterplay to probably draw, probably. Um, he played bishop takes e4, which is a mistake. Now, now I can draw. D takes e4. He took on f e5. He's up a pawn. And I played rook d8. That's that's the right move. And the problem is, if he plays rook d1, he's pinned, and then bishop g4 probably wins for me. And if he if he plays rook takes e4 to defend his knight, bishop b7 pins. If he moves his knight, here, here comes my rook. So it says knight e2 or knight b3 are okay. He played knight b3. That's fine. Um, this says king here is equal. Bishop here is equal. I wanted to win my pawn back, so I played here. Again, he can't take on e4 because I played bishop b7. King f2, rook e5. Knight d4. It says king e3 is a little better for him. Bishop b7. King e3. Just better for white. Instead of playing rook here and takes, I should just move my king up the board. That was bad. Rook c5. Rook e2. Rook c1, rook c2. Trading rooks is just a lost end game for me because I can't save my e-pawn. Um, so I played check, which is correct. King f4, check. And now he made a bad move. Um, he can play king e3 or king g5. He ended up playing king e5. And now I'm probably drawing after e3. And now he blundered. And this is move 36, so he's definitely in just terrible time trouble. Now, what's funny is there's two ways to play in time trouble. You can say, I don't care I'm in time trouble. I'm going to play the best move, which may or may not work out for you. Or you can say, I'm in time trouble. I'm going to play the safe move. Often, when you play the safe move in time trouble and not the correct move, that throws away your advantage. Unfortunately for Stuart, this is not one of those positions. The safe move is also the correct move, and that is rook e2. And after rook e2, um, he has a big advantage because I'll play rook f2. He'll take my pawn. I'll take one of his pawns, and his king is just way better than mine, way better. But he probably thought that would be a draw. And he doesn't want to draw me. Stuart's a better player than I am. Stuart was always a better player than me. And he played rook c7, which leads to a lost position. Now, now this pawn is too strong. So his king was blocking my, hit my pawn. His knight was blocking it and his rook was blocking it. He moved his king away. He moved his rook away. And now only his knight <clears throat> stops my pawn. And I have bishop a6. And you can't stop e2. So now he realized, like, if he takes on a7, I play e2. Then if he takes on e2, I take his knight. So he, he played rook c2, but it's too late to compromise. And now I win simply by playing e2 anyway. Rook c2 doesn't do it. And then rook e1, and I win a piece. He gets a pawn or two, but we're getting out of time trouble now, so I have enough time to win. He's not threatening me because my bishop is stopping that. But I checked him away anyway, which is the correct move. And here I'm just a piece up for no pawns. And then he resigned here. Obviously, rook d5 check is winning. Every move is winning. This is the correct colored rook pawn. And that's the only game I've ever beaten Stuart Rachel's. And I've played Stuart in like four different U.S. Junior Championships. And, you know, I don't remember playing him in a tournament that wasn't the U.S. Junior Championship, which is weird. 
I think I've only played him in U.S. Junior Championships. We're, we're exactly the same age. Um, he's 20 days younger than me. And he was always about 100 points higher, approximately. Our FIDE ratings were the same here. Um, but he was always 50 to 100 points higher than me, USCF. He was like the top 12-year-old in the country, top 13, top 14. And I was like number three or something. So we were sort of rivals, but he was ahead in the rivalry. And he ended up tying for first in the U.S. championship. Uh, I think it was in 93. And he never became a grandmaster because he quit chess. As soon as he got into grad school, he basically stopped playing. Um, and he became a, he got a Ph.D. in philosophy. And he's been a professor at Alabama for years, many years. And for more information, talk to Chess Lad. Um, Stewart's dad was a famous philosopher, had a lot of things published and toured the country and stuff. And, um, his name was James Rachels. You can look up his dad, James Rachels. And, and my dad actually got a degree in philosophy. So they, the couple of times that they saw each other, they, you know, spoke. Cause Stewart knows all of my dad's, uh, philosophy professors from the fifties and sixties, mainly the fifties. But a little bit of the 60s, I guess. My dad was born in 37. Yeah. So that was one of my better games in the French because it was a U.S. Junior Championship against a better player. And the game was pretty good. I was worse most of the game. And then in time trouble, he blundered with Rook C7 and then Rook C2 and ended up losing. Hooray for me. Go Ben. Etc. Go, Stuart. Stuart actually played in a couple of tournaments in Alabama against Rufus and Doofus in the last couple of years. Like game 30 or just, you know, against players who were low rated. He's not going to play in a tournament where the people are good. I don't think he's interested in getting back in that. He did play a lot of bridge, and we've played in a couple of bridge tournaments together in Atlanta with Wes and his wife. Not Wes's wife, Stewart's wife. Pretty good bridge player. Pretty smart guy. Like like Tarjan's. Stewart's my age. He's not as old as Tarjan. Maybe when in ten years he'll do it. Maybe. Go Karen's birthday. Karen turns fifty seven tomorrow. Go Karen. No library passes allowed. Also, what? Anyway, those are those are my games, you know, from uh, the, my teen games from my teen years. All right, let's do some puzzles. Changes you made may not be saved. Oh, no. Tong Khan uh, subscribed. Hooray. Could Stuart become a GM? No. He would have to play in GM norm tournaments. He's not going to do that. Also, Stuart's my age, and he hasn't studied chess opening theory in you know 30 years so so still no but yeah he was always better than me he just never got the gm title i never got the gm title either that i got it when i was 40 when he he retired like in his early 20s he stopped playing chess so he's always been gm strength let's see custom puzzles did i already do that i think so puzzles and so forth why study when you have tcec that uh, question doesn't make a lot of sense. Yay, go Guitar Stevie. Go World Cup. Okay, let's do some puzzles. No, it's too hard. I've had this before. It was H6. And then it's Rook here, I think. Because if H7, then Rook here. And then here. And then check. 2818. But I've had that before. All right, let's see. What's this one? I'm down a rook. Uh, queen h3 doesn't work. Knight f2, if he takes my knight, I play queen h3 and win. If he doesn't take my knight, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, ha I have to play knight f2. Hmm. 
I don't see another move. All right, now what do I do? I guess double check and then mate. Oh, I didn't see king g3. No! So do I take the knight or do I take the rook? I guess I take the knight. Oh, give me the knight. 2384. Pretty good because I didn't see anything. All right. So... Looks like I play queen f5 at some point. I guess I trade rooks and play queen f5. 2118. This looks like knight e4, but maybe it's not. But it looks like knight e4. So then he takes this. Huh. Can't really stop that. Hmm. I don't know, it looks like 94. Uh, I guess taking wins. 2169. Where's my king here? Um, I guess it's queen b2. I guess I could play rook f8, then queen b2. That might make more sense. Queen b2 looks like it wins. And rook f8 looks like it wins. Hmm. Queen b2, queen h8, I could check on c1 and play f4. What? Why doesn't queen b2 win and rook f8 win? Tough puzzle. How can they both not win? I don't know. I guess if I take this and he takes and I take, yes, queen here check and queen b5 defending as knight. He's surprised if I wasn't winning there. All right. I'll play the line it wants me to play. 2283. This looks familiar. So if I move my knight, I'm threatening rook here check mate. So knight takes e6, he plays queen takes. Knight d7, he plays queen takes. So knight a4 threatens this and this. But then he has queen b7. Huh. And knight e6, he plays queen e6 and defends c8. Knight d7, queen here and defends c8. Knight here, I don't see why he can't play queen b7. Hmm. I mean, it has to be one of those moves. <clears throat> it could be Rick D1. I think it's Rick D1. Queen, queen c6 loses to rook d4. Knight moves to lose. I'm threatening rook takes a knight. I guess it's rook d1. And then take 26, 24. This looks familiar like I've had this one before. I don't remember the answer, but it looks familiar. Let's see, queen a7? Yeah, I think I've had this before. I think it's queen a7. Mate. 2117. This pawn looks pretty strong. So rook takes pawn, rook takes pawn here, king here. So that's not it. I could play rook takes and bishop takes. Then king here. And then... Ah, I could play bishop takes. 
And then if rook takes, rook takes, I win. And then if king e8, I can check and check. Well, I can play, I can play king f7, which is weird. I can't beat king f7. I can play rook h8, king f7. What does that get me? I don't know. Well, so far I like bishop e7. King g8, rook check, king here, bishop here, rook takes. Pawn takes, king here is a draw. So that's, I mean, bishop takes, king here just doesn't win. Huh. Nothing works. Some has to work. Okay, king e5, king e6, rook h8, mate. That seems far-fetched. It might be right. It just seems, like, crazy. So I could play bishop takes e7, rook check, and then rook f7. I think that's the answer. I think that's the answer. Yeah, if king here, I was going to check and play rook here. King here, I wasn't so worried about. Maybe I should have been. I thought I could just check and check and take. You know. Whoa, it's not rook here? Oh, then king here takes h2. So I have to play here. And then I can go here and check. Yeah, this is just too hard. 3198. <laughs> I already thought I solved it, but the end was crazy. All right. That was crazy like some Samantha Fox. Let's see. Rook takes e7. Rook takes, queen takes, king g6. And then queen takes. Yeah, that should win. And then I take this and take this. 2140. Yay, farty party 927. Go farty party. Let's see. I guess it's this, I don't know. Whoa, that doesn't win? Oh, king f4. Well, then it has to be here. So rook here is a draw and rook here is winning after king f4? Because I have rook here check and you can't gain a tempo on my rook. That was 3,007. <laughs> I mean, nobody's solving that. That's too hard. I've had this one before. Let's see, it was here. Then I make a knight. And then...
Oh, why do you king g7? <sighs> I've had this before. I can't remember the answer. Let's see if I promote and then can I save my pawn? I don't think so. Oh, why are these so hard? They should be easy. King g7 check, king f7 there. Was it here? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's here. I've solved this before, but I forgot the answer. <laughs> 2804. Man, I can't remember the answer. I'm too weak. Uh, let's see. Rook here looks good. Then he plays Rook here. So I guess I changed my mind. Rook here, Rook here. Check king f2, check rook e2. That doesn't look right. All right, let's try this. And then queen b6 or queen c5. Oh, rook d2 maybe. Rook d2, queen b1. Hmm. Uh, this is too hard. I could play queen b6 or queen c5 and then back to c6. Nah, that's not good. Plus queen e6. All right, let's try here. Darn. It was queen c5. What do you know? Oh, it's queen h5. 3164. Yeah, I didn't see queen h5. Yay, it's a Karen puzzle. It's her birthday. Go, Karen. Let's see, knight g4, I guess. And then uh, knight h2. And then take. I can't take his queen because he mates me. 2309. I've had that one a lot. Let's see, queen check, pawn here, knight takes. Uh, takes, takes, king here. Hmm. Uh, take on e7, then play queen check. Play as king g7. Hmm. Is I don't know an answer. Knight c6. Yeah, I guess it's knight c6. And then queen b3. Uh, I didn't see e6. 
If King G7, I play knight to knight E6 check. Um, what choice do I take? Oh, I could take with the queen and play knight E8. 3142. I solved a hard one. I didn't think that was 3142, but it was not easy. I think it was 3142 hard. I've had this one before. I think it's queen g7. Yeah. Then I forgot what it was. I guess it just takes. Then takes. Yeah. 24. I've had that one before. Uh, let's see. Check and check and check and make. 2300. Uh. Let's see, is it queen f3 and then king h7? Probably. That's my guess. Okay, he didn't take my rook. Uh, so I can go here or here. So this looks better than here. And then here. And then takes. I don't know. I have to take. What else can I do? King h7, he plays queen here, check. Queen here, check. King here, queen takes. King here, queen here, king here. Queen g3. Or, let's see. King takes, queen c8. King here takes. King e6. And my pawn's defended, so my king can run over here. 2681. We've had this one a million times. It's got to be here. And then I start thinking. I think it's here. I've solved this before. What color am I? White. So it's rook here check. And then it's rook here. Yeah, that's right. I've solved that one before too. Uh, King e5 it has to be. 2504. This one's knight here, knight here, knight here, I think. Yeah, I've solved this one before. Uh, rook d8 and queen e8, I guess. That's pretty cute. 2230. Uh, let's see, knight d5 or knight e4, rook f1. It's one of them. I like rook f1 so far. All right, this is the move I like. 2382, strange puzzle. Uh, let's see, bishop e2, rook d8, rook d8. Seems right. 2164. And this is the one we had a hundred billion times. Uh, let's see. Queen c2, queen h5, 98. Queen c2, and then I win his queen, I guess. Queen takes check. King takes check, king f5. Check, king f4. Darn. I ran out of checks. How can that not be right? How can this be wrong? Queen c2, queen e5, queen h7, king f6, queen h8, king f5, g4, king f4. And I'm out of ideas.
I don't see anything else. I'm going to do it anyway because I don't see anything else. <laughs> what am I missing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> queen check, king here. Queen takes king e7. Queen check, king f5. Am I supposed to play queen check and perpetual? I am down seven pawns. So I guess I'm supposed to perpetual. Okay, 2376. I've solved this one before. More than once. I think it's check, and then there's some stalemate. I have to make a rook at the end. Or is it this check? I forget which check it is. No, it can't be that check. Then king e7. And then I have to make a rook or it's still my 2391. Uh, I mean, how could it not be rook? Oh, then rook takes f7. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I can check and then take the rook. 2198. So knight h5 is the obvious move. Oh, I gotta play knight h5. Okay, now I have to move my king or play knight g3 now. So is it king d1 or king f1? There's no stalemate. Huh. Oh, if I play king d1, king here, king here, he can't go here because I queen with check. And if I go here, what does he do? King f3, king g1, rook g2, king h1. Oh, he plays rook g4. Well, that doesn't work. Huh. Yeah, I don't understand why both moves don't win. I have to figure out why one move doesn't work. I'm leaning towards king d1. Because after king d3, king c1, it's over. King f1, it seems like there's a trick. I just don't see what it is. I wonder if like king d1, king d3, king c1, e3, queen e2 is like something to worry about. Because knight f4 check, king here, I still can't take this because he queens. But after king here, king here, king here, e3, queen here, I have queen f6 check. So it probably is king here then, yeah. 2134. That seemed harder than that. All right, let's see. Is it bishop b4 or knight e4? Good question. They both seem like they win. Problem with here and takes is yes, queen d2. So it's probably here. Yeah, now I play here. Twenty-one seventy-nine. G6. No, now he's threatening mate. Uh, where's my mate? Do I queen? No. Bishop a3? Bishop c3? Hmm. Bishop a3, king here. Rook is here. King here, rook takes. Seems right. Okay. Huh. Nope.
Well, I don't know. These are the kind of positions I'm not good at. Aha. Uh -huh. No, he still plays bishop takes d4. So. Why is getting his rook off of d1 good? I don't know. D4 check, bishop d4. How does that help? Bishop c2, rook c4. That doesn't look good either. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like it's a1 equals knight, and after rook takes, I don't see why I did that. I still feel like that that's right. I just don't know why it's right. Bishop c2, he's got queen c2 also. <clears throat> I must be missing something fairly obvious. I mean, I have no idea what the chat. A1 knight, hang your queen. Knight takes g2. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to make a knight. That's going to be wrong. Okay, it was right. I don't know why it was right. I just felt like I should get the rook off of d1. Don't know why. I just felt like I should do that. <clears throat> Aha, uh -huh. queen takes knight, and then knight check, and rook check. <coughs> queen takes knight, bishop takes knight check somewhere. Uh, eh, this is looking fishy. Well, maybe it is queen b6, knight d4, rook c b8, bishop b4, bishop d2 mate. Okay, but he can play king c3 
after night d4. Darn. <clears throat> oh, then I can play rook takes c4 check and rook c. So I think it is this. And then I think it's knight d4. And then rook c4. Okay, that move I didn't see, but all right. Um, so I can play rook c2 or knight f3 and bishop b4. All right, what if I just take everything? Take this, take this. Is that winning? I think I'm a piece up. Yay, 2362? That should be 3362. What the hell? That's like the hardest puzzle I ever solved. God damn. <laughs> I don't even know why some of my moves were right. Well, knight d4, so you couldn't take with a rook. That, I thought moving his rook away from the center was good. Man, that was crazy. Man, the chest is tough. I'm old. Leave me alone. All right, back to something easier, I hope. Let's see. Bishop takes, knight takes. So it has to be bishop here. And then, um, then I just walk my king over and win. Well, why not? I don't know. Seems right. Yeah, that's more like it. That was 2414. That's harder than the other one. Some Perrier feel better. Man, that was crazy. All right. So it has to be here. And then is it king f2, g2, or h2? Uh, let's see. It's one of them. King f2, knight check. King f1, knight check. King e2. Uh, so it's probably king f2, king f1, king e2. And then that's probably good. I don't know, maybe it's not. Okay, g2... King g1, and then if I play h2, king h checks and checks again. If I play h2, then he's in Zugzwang. After h2, I think it's a draw if it's my move, but it's his move. And he has to move his knight somewhere stupid. So I think it's that. I think it's h2. He has to move his knight somewhere stupid. Now, do I go here or do I... Oh, well, here he plays here, so I have to check. 29-22. That was good. That didn't seem harder than the other one I got. <clears throat> okay. So I want to play rook c7, but that's wrong. Taking seems right. And he takes this. g5 doesn't work. Huh. It could be h5. Threatening queen g4 mate just to get his king open. And if he takes, I can play rook here, rook here. And rook here. Yeah, I think it's h5. Yeah, okay. Well, if all fails, queen takes rook wins. I think all's failing, so let's take that. 2170, what? I thought that was tough. Well, yeah. So takes in here is obvious. Then he has queen here. Then I don't know what to do. Ah, then rook b1. And then that's it. Okay. 2391. Okay, so rook h7 is the obvious move. So let's do that. Then we'll think. Rook h4, king takes, that's nothing. Queen e2, that's nothing. Queen h3, and then I win his queen on the diagonal. 23-11, that wasn't that hard. Uh, let's see. Huh. 
Well, I don't know. Was that an answer? I don't know. Oh, it's 92 and 94? Wow, it is 92 and 94. God damn. That is complicated as fuck. Wow. But that's the answer. Jesus Christ. Oh, he defended his queen. <laughs> uh, let's see. I didn't see knight b3. 92, rookie 2... Well, it's 92. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, I just take him, play rookie one. 2589, it's even harder than that. Let's see, here, here. 2360, what? That, what, that wasn't that hard. Let's see, he's gonna queen with May. So, oh, we've had this before. Karen solved this too. 2209, we've had that one. Uh, let's see, I want to threaten queen d2 mate. Can't go here, can't go here. Can't go here, can't go here. So queen g5. Then he plays f4, then queen here. Well, it has to be queen g5 because it can't be anything else. <laughs> There's no other move. This is rook c8, but it's not rook c8. Well, that's got to be queen g5. And then it has to be queen g2, I guess. 23-34. Let's see. So rook takes rook and then queen d5. 25-20. That wasn't that hard. Uh, let's see. Just take this. And then what, check and check and mate? Is there a quicker mate? That's a quicker mate. What kind of puzzle is this? Like queen, oh, I, I can't play queen f6 check. I thought it was like two different mates and one was quicker, but this is the only mate. <clears throat> okay, so he wants queen e1 check winning. So it's probably this check. Yeah, and then mate, 2137. Let's see, probably here, here. Uh, I've had this one a million times. It's here, and then bishop e7? Is that right? I can't remember if that's right. No, it's not bishop e7, because my bishop, let's see, it's bishop d8? Yeah, it's bishop d8, I think. I've solved this one like 10 times. Bishop d8, and then if king here, then this is a mate. And then you go check and check and check and check and takes. Okay. Uh, this looks familiar too. Is it knight f5 or is it takes a knight f5? Or is, is it neither? I don't see why it takes a knight f5 wins. <sighs> I don't see why anything wins. I hate these puzzles. I don't play white in a Sicilian dragon. Oh, it's bishop takes bishop and then queen g5. 
That's got to be the answer. Yeah. 2710. Okay, so this is some trap is queen and he has to move. Uh, it looks like G3 is the first move. How could it not be G3? I'm going to play G3. I don't care what it is. <laughs> and then rook here, I guess. Oh, it's not rook there? Darn. So he wants to play queen a5. Suppose it's probably why it's not rig g8. Now, let's try this. Okay. It seemed like the right move to try. <clears throat> ah, and now it's rook here, and then it's rook here. Yeah, there we go. 3011. That's why I didn't solve it. Let's see. I guess it's on passant. That's it. I'm done. All right. 2504. Uh, check, check, check. Okay, so why doesn't this check win and this check win? And the answer is, oh, because he plays king g2. Okay. So then I have to play rook g1 check. And then queen d1 check. So it's queen d6. And then check, and then check. 20, I've had that before. 23, 23. Let's see. Uh, it's either D4 or C2. Yay, Elisa Zhu is raiding with a party of 88. Go Elisa and Alyssa. Either way. Somebody give Alyssa a shout out. Hooray. Okay, so it's either d4 or c2. Let's see which one it is. c2 here, d4 takes. Okay, so d4 takes, takes. d4 takes here, and then here. So it's d4. 22, 60. Okay, I'm white. I'm going this way. Okay. Did somebody give a shout out? Come on, where's the, my mods? Give Alyssa a shout out. Rawr, I'm mad. There's 2,500 people watching and no shout outs? Do I have to do it? No, anything but that. Don't make me move slightly. I really have no mods here? I have to get some more mods. I can't have thousands of people watching and no mods. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Yay. Only Karen can make people mods. I mean, all right. Uh... Did I make you a mod? Did it work? Okay. I guess Stonkfish wants to be a mod too. I don't know if he can be trusted. A well, farty party is a VIP, but not a mod. Can VIPs do it? Can you give shout outs? 
Hmm. Okay, so let's see. H7, rook H3, and I give up. Rook takes G6, King E4. Huh. Ah, it's king c4, and then check, and then here. 23-18, seem harder than that. Uh, let's see. Uh, rook h6 check, he can take it. Queen h4 check, he can't play rook h3. He could play rook h3. My rook's hanging. Huh. Queen H7 is pointless. Rook H6 he takes. Oh, I resigned. Queen H4. Could play Rook H3. Queen takes, Queen takes. Could also play King G2. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know then. Why is everything so hard for me? The puzzles don't have high ratings. I just can't solve them. Just because I'm bad. It's a good reason. Uh... Oh, rook h6, bishop h6, queen h4 is winning. Jesus, what an idiot. Okay. Well, everything wins now. 24 13. I'm so dumb. Uh, so, why is queen g6 or queen g5 right? That is the question. And the answer is I don't know. Oh, because I want to play queen c2 check. 21.98. What? So king here. I've done this one 50 times. Then he plays rook here. All right, then what do I do? <laughs> rook here, I think. And then here. And then g4. And then it's over. I think that's it. Twenty two eighty. See takes check. Oh, that's gotta win. <laughs> All right, now I gotta think. Just take and queen g six. Twenty two forty one. See, Wanna play rook takes no. looks familiar. Let's see if Karen's texting me that she's lost and confused. Because that will happen. No? All right. Uh, yeah. So it's even material. Yeah, it's just knight takes and rook takes. That's what I thought it was. Then take this. 
2377. All right, so rook c3. I guess it's rook c3. 2350. Bishop c6 looks right. That's got to be right. I mean, what else could it be? Then knight g7, I guess. 2127. Uh, rook e5, rook f2 isn't mate. Am I missing some? This checkmate. 2421? I mean, that was just checkmate. Uh, what? <laughs> well, you, you couldn't make it more obvious. 24-21. Let's see. There's some kind of mate like with this or something. 22-67. Pretty easy. Okay, what color am I? I'm black, and he's going this way. Okay, so if I let him play here to draw, so I go here, he goes here, I go here. And it's got to be here, and it's got to be here. 2287. So queen takes bishop here, a5. And then here, 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 and here. 2536. Okay, what color am I? I'm black. Okay, well, if I don't take, I lose. So I guess I'll take. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm trying to draw or win. Uh, I guess king here, king here, king here, king here, six, six here, seven. And then somehow he queens first, but I win. I'm not sure how. King here, pawn here, pawn here, queen, king here. That doesn't seem to win. King here, king here, pawn here, pawn here, king here, pawn here. Oh yeah, that's just me. Yeah. Okay, 2381. Uh, it's queen h5, I guess. 2250. Uh, mm hmm takes check f6 rook takes bishop i guess what what was wrong with my answer oh he plays king f8 oh that's what's wrong with my answer so do i check first and then play 97 ah then if king g7 i have f6 and knight d5 2397. What a blunder. Let's see, I'm black. So it's either rook f5 or rook takes. Rook takes, takes, king here, 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 here. All right. Uh, mate and one. 2435 for mate and one. Ah, ah. I took a pawn too. All right, so if I take and play b5 in here, then I'm probably worse. So that's not it. Uh, b4, take, take. Ah, ah. I think I take and play g5, and then h6, and then b6. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah. 28.99. It didn't seem that hard to me. I just had to out, you know, zugzwang him or whatever. Something. Let's see. Queen h6, and my rook's hanging. Darn. So I go here, I guess. That's it. I'm not even sure why I'm done. 
I just thought that was the answer. I don't know how to win from here, but probably queen check and rook d3 wins. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was right. Hey, it's a Karen puzzle. This looks right. 2602. Jesus Christ. Um. Well, it's got to be bishop h6, I guess. What else could it be? It's not bishop h6. Well, I didn't know what to do here. <laughs> I could play bishop b2, or I could play queen f6. I guess it's bishop b2. Is it queen here? I guess. 29.59. All right. I didn't take that puzzle seriously. Uh, let's see. I mean, taking the rook. Oh, he has queen here check. I didn't see that. So I check here and then take the rook. 24.47. Let's see. If I play rook e1 and bishop e4, he has queen c4 check. Rook e1, queen b4, then bishop e4. Now we're talking. That's some good chess there. 22.55, damn. Uh, let's see, probably it's this simple beginner's mate. 23.99. That's crazy. All right, so it's either rook here or rook here. I have to decide which one now? I'm tired. Rook here, king here, I see nothing. Rook here, king here, I see nothing. Darn. What happened? Well, the plane landed. Okay. All right. So rook g4, king h1. Then what? Queen h3? Queen g3, I mean? No. Queen g6, h6 doesn't work. Nothing works because knight h2 is coming. I have to stop knight h2. Ah, it's rook f3, then rook f2. Probably. No! Oh, it's queen takes. I didn't see queen takes. That makes more sense. I didn't see queen takes was legal. Okay, so king here. Well, it's definitely king here. And I assume it's takes. Um, what else could it be? It has to be takes. And it has to be h6, I guess. And making a queen doesn't win. Looks like it wins. I've had that one before. Let's see. Rook to knight, knight here wins. So rook takes. He has to take with the pawn. I mean, take with the queen. And then I win somehow. I don't know. Rook d1 probably wins. Queen b7 probably wins. Knight c6 probably wins. Which one actually wins? Rook d1, queen b6, queen b7, queen d7, hmm. knight c6, queen d6. I don't see how to win that. Rook d1, queen b6. Then what? I don't know. Ugh. Ah, then rook d7. Rook d7 is hard because you're trying to queen the pawn, but rook d7, you mate the guy. Okay. 2682. Uh, what's I'm down the exchange and the queen's sort of trapped. Let's see. Knights hanging. I don't know. I 
I'm thinking it's just knight h4. I just don't see a way to win, but I'm still thinking it's knight h4. Oh, it's probably bishop e3 check. Yeah, okay, then is it knight d4? Knight d4, king e3, queen f3, king d4. Where's the knockout blow? Oh, I just take the rook on h1 and I win. All right, I believe in that. 2190, what? What? Okay, I'm white. So king c5 and then d4. And then, yeah, it's got to be right. Twenty-one fifty-nine. What's the material? Rook check. Oh, so bishop a6, rook check, king here, rook here, I take and I win. Well, that's knight f8 check, king here, I win. All right. And then king here doesn't work as he checks. Or does it? King here, ooh, that might work. <clears throat> so why don't they both win? Let's see. King f7, rook e7, king f6. That wins. And knight h8. King f6 wins. Rook f8 takes wins. Why does a king h7 win? Rook h8, queen h8. That wins. Knight f8, double check, king h6 wins. So I'm missing something because they both look like they win. Darn. You know, I think king h7 wins more because king f7, he can win my queen and I'm only up a piece. King h7, I think I'm up more than a piece. Although, king h7, he can take my knight, take my bishop, and then take my... Oh, he could play knight f8 check, and then take my bishop. So it's king f7. If I play here, he plays double check here, then he takes this, then he takes this. And then it's like equal material. So it's got to be here. No! Ooh! Well, then I can beat easily. 2263, I want to analyze that. I'm confused. Okay, what, what what am I wrong about? Okay, why doesn't this win? Rook e7, king f6. Oh, queen a6 now. Oh, okay. And then why doesn't he play knight f8 check here? King h6, queen takes. Knight takes, rook takes. Oh, this even though the material is equal, I'm just black's just dead winning here. Okay, I agree with that. Black's winning here. I didn't see Queen A6 in the other line. Darn. What a potser. Okay, so Queen G2 at some point. Or Queen H2. Let's see. Rook takes Queen F1, Knight E3, Rook B2. Tommy Chong. Okay, so if I play Rook B2, he has meat in two. So that's not it. I don't know why I would take his bishop. So that's not it. If I take and he takes, I don't see what that does. Queen, ah, queen takes, Rook takes, Knight check, Knight takes. Okay, I agree with that analysis. Oh, I'm done. 2289. Uh, this is meeting one, so that's probably the answer. That was 22-12. Uh, bishop h3. Oh, my queen's hanging. I didn't notice my queen was hanging. Darn. Let's see. Bishop d3 and rook f8. That looks pretty good. I can't argue with that. 24-47. Ooh, it's a Karen puzzle. Uh, let's see, rook g1, knight f3, that doesn't work. Uh, rook f2 is probably right. 23, 16. Let's see, huh, interesting puzzle. King f3 looks good. 
King H3 looks good. Hmm. Well, King H3 plays H6, so that's probably not good. So we have to play King F3. What? Oh, that is B5. No! How could it be none of those moves? Wow, I can't find the right move. It's King H3? All right. I don't know why King F3 didn't win. I have no idea. Let's look it up. H5 is a draw. Oh, I can't play King H4 here. If my king was on H3, I could play King H4. But then he plays here and he draws. Okay, I'm an idiot. I agree, I'm an idiot. Ooh, Karen puzzle. Let's see, probably here. 2275. Uh, Queen E5. And then... And then that should do it. 2536. <clears throat> Twenty-three fourteen, huh? Huh? King here, rook here, king here. Then this is mate. So it's here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, this will be my last one because I'm doing so badly. Uh, he can't play queen c1 check, but. If I play rook here and queen here, I could do that in either order. So therefore, it's wrong. So it's probably rook c8 and queen e7, because I can't do that in either order. I already knew he couldn't do that. I'll do one more, because that was too easy. <clears throat> so I have queen b2. That's wrong. Queen e5 is wrong. Rook e8's got to be right, because my rook's hanging with check. Okay, now I have queen b2, and what else do I have? I don't think I have anything else. Okay, now bishop e2, and then the puzzle's over. Oh, I can take and take and take. So 2206, I'll do one more. I always do one more. <clears throat> uh, so it's obviously winning the queen c5 queen a4 and bishop b5 so it's not c5 bishop b6 queen a4 knight c5 so that's obviously it and then a5 i guess all right now 27 78 i mean that wasn't hard all right last one okay i've done this one several times so we'll do one more because i did that one several times Okay, this is pinned. Um, so let's see. Queen, queen here check. Doesn't make any sense. Queen d5. This looks familiar. Like I've had this. Well, it has to be here because there's no other move. Then it has to be bishop b6. I guess. He plays rook b1. Huh. If I check here, he goes here. But maybe I'm playing for perpetual. I don't know. Bishop b6, rook b7, I can take it, which is funny. I'm not sure if I'm winning there, though. Okay, so I am playing for perpetual. Then queen d1, I guess. Twenty four forty eight. I didn't understand that puzzle, so we'll do one more. Let's see, bishop d4. No. F6. No. Rook c7. No. Rook e7. Maybe. Yes. Rook e7. Then. F6 or Bishop H4 first. F6. No! Bishop H4 first? Darn. 
2644. All right, we'll do another one because I, I got that one wrong. Let's see. Materials equal. I'm up a pawn. Queen's hanging. Rook's hanging. Rook on d1's defended. I could play queen e2 because the queen's trapped. No, it's not trapped. He has bishop g4. Huh. Queen e2, rook takes, bishop takes, bishop g4. I don't see how that works. I could play queen c2, threatening bishop e2. It's a good threat. All right, let's try that. Darn. Let's try my original move. No. Let's give up. Oh, maybe it's just here, and then here, and then bishop e2. That was too hard, 2436. Okay, this is just checkmates. That was too easy, so we'll do another one. Um, Let's see, rook here, check, king here. Then I give up. Or here check is wrong. Or here check. Oh, it's Rook here check. That was too easy. This was too easy. Uh, bishop here, queen here, king here, queen here, king here. So it's king h8. And then bishop g7, I guess. And then here, I guess. That's too easy. All right, this is the last one. I've had enough. Um, is it d7? Because I want it to be d7. So let's just play d7 because I want it to be d7. Yes. I wanted it to be d7. See, I want to play mate, but I need this square occupied so the king can't run away. Uh, so you're claiming that of this move, this move, this move, and this move, only one of them wins. Ah, because you have queen f8. So that means bishop d4 is the only move that wins. All right, 2793. That was a good one to finish on. All right. Yay, Karen's birthday soon. Go, Karen. Etc. All right, let's see. It's all about the Benjamins. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy birthday.